Hello there and uh, welcome back. In this video I am going to show you how to implement a dynamic color feature of a Material 3 design system. Now this new dynamic colors feature is available beginning with an Android 12. And it will allow you to generate a uh, personalized uh, color schema for your application uh, based on which uh, wallpaper you are currently using on your smartphone device. Along with some other customization settings as well. So at this point I'm using a device uh, which uses uh, API level of uh, 33, so a dynamic color feature is available within this device. So as you can see the theme of my application is applied dynamically with those uh, orange colors, right? So if I uh, now uh, check the background uh, of my actual uh, device, then you will see that the background actually contains the orange color, right? Also if we open up the settings for example and change the theme of our uh, device, so let's change that to a dark theme. Then uh, those colors will also be uh, changed in our application. There you go. So now we have a little bit different colors as well. And now let's also try to change the background image of our smartphone device. So let's open up the gallery here. So photos, right? Uh, for example, I'm going to choose now this one. Let's apply uh, here a new wallpaper for our device. There we go, okay. So now we have a new wallpaper and as soon as we open up our application uh, then the colors of that wallpaper will be immediately analyzed and generated by default. So there you go, now we have a new colors. And of course we can also change our theme back to a, to a light theme. There we go and we are going to see a different colors as well. Quite convenient, right? Now, uh, before we continue, it's time for the sponsor of this video. This video has been brought to you by uh, Mock Plus. Mock Plus Cloud is a collaborative platform where uh, product design teams can cooperate effectively and they hand off uh, prototypes and designs more efficiently. Mock Plus uh, RP, on the other hand, is also integrated in a uh, Mock Plus Cloud and it represents an online interactive uh, prototyping tool. So Black Friday came early and they offer discounts in a period from uh, 1st to uh, November 30. So you have a chance to win an iPhone 14 Pro Max, Apple Watch Ultra and AirPods Pro 2. So head over to their website to learn more about it. The link will be down in the video description. Alright, so uh, back to the topic. Uh, a dynamic uh, color is a feature which is uh, related to the Material 3 design system. And if you're not familiar with that uh, system, uh, then I highly suggest you to watch my uh, video where I have explained uh, everything you need to know about it. Now, the first uh, thing which you need to do is uh, to create the project in Android Studio by using the Material 3 Compose template. So you can do that just by clicking this uh, file, then a new, new project, and then just by selecting this uh, empty Compose activity Material 3. Now this uh, template contains the necessary dependency for Material 3 Compose library, plus the UI package of this uh, project template is also a bit different from before. So I have already created a project with this uh, template and uh, I'm not going to repeat myself. So um, the theme uh, Kotlin file in this uh, template is uh, modified by default to support a dynamic feature out of the box. So let's take a look. Uh, open up the theme package and then uh, the theme uh, Kotlin file. So here uh, you will see that of course we have those uh, two variables for the color schema, light and the dark. And down below in our root uh, composable function, uh, we have a new parameter which is a dynamic color a boolean value. Its default value is true. Now uh, down below as you can see we are passing uh, the actual color schema, typography and the content to this material theme composable, right? However, uh, this uh, color schema uh, variable is now a little bit different. So here we have a WAM block and the first uh, thing which we are checking is uh, whether this dynamic color is true and it will be true by default and whether our actual uh, version SDK is uh, equal or uh, greater than 31. So only if that's true uh, then we are going to be able to apply those uh, dynamic uh, colors to our actual application. So a dynamic uh, colors feature is supported by default with this uh, new Compose Material 3 template, right? So uh, at this point uh, this uh, template as you can see contains uh, only those uh, default uh, colors. There you go. However, in the previous video I have also explained uh, how to actually generate your own uh, custom uh, uh, theme for your project. You can just uh, open up this uh, website material.io and then you can access this um, uh, theme builder. 
Uh, then from here you can select uh, the main uh, four colors of your theme and then down below uh, all other different variations of those uh, colors will be generated for the both uh, light and the dark uh, schema as well. So after that you can just uh, go to this uh, export button and then you can export that as a Jetpack Compose. And this uh, file will actually contain uh, a theme Kotlin file and a colors uh, Kotlin file. Which you can then just uh, copy to your own project and replace uh, those two files. Or those actual colors and those uh, two variables as well. Now uh, let's try first uh, running uh, this application on uh, an API level of uh, 29. And let's see uh, what will happen. So in this case, as you can see, uh, here I have just made uh, one uh, simple uh, UI component. And uh, this is our uh, default theme, uh, which comes with this actual uh, Material 3 uh, Compose template, right? Now, if we close this application, you will see that the actual background of our uh, smartphone device is actually different. So it contains some blue colors, right? However, when we open up our application, uh, then those uh, colors will not be applied. Because by default, this dynamic color feature is available only for devices that uses the Android 12 and above, right? However, if we run this application on a device, for example, of uh, let's say maybe 33. Okay, so let's uh, now launch our application. As you can see, at the moment we have this uh, orange background. And immediately after that, after we launch our application, uh, then our application will basically... Uh, dynamically get uh, all those colors from our actual wallpaper, right? And as you can see in this device that uses the API level uh, 33, we are not using that default uh, theme which we have with our application, which is this uh, purple one, right? In this case, we are actually using the uh, dynamic color feature and we are applying those uh, colors dynamically to our application. So there you go, that's uh, everything you need to know about uh, a dynamic color uh, feature in Material 3. So uh, be sure to comment down below and let me know what you think about this uh, new feature. And also uh, be sure to like this video but only if you find it helpful. For this video, that'll be all.